All right, now to share with you updates across all the activity we've done this year, 2015, around OneSource, please welcome to the stage Vice President of Product Management, Irish McIntyre. Good morning, everybody. It's a privilege, as always, to be here with you in sunny Orlando, Florida. Over the next couple minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the different product achievements and milestones that we achieved in 2015. In particular, I'm going to focus in on the areas of compliance and reporting, supply chain management, research, and support, with an eye on how we're making one source simpler, easier to use anytime, anywhere. So let's start with one source income tax. In 2015, we focused squarely on usability. We took the state activation areas that used to be spread across multiple screens in the product and consolidated into one place so that you can simply see how all of your states are being treated without having to navigate around to different areas in the product. We did the same thing for the e-file information areas where you used to have to go closer to almost 50 different places to see that information, bringing it to you in one screen so you can see exactly how your e-files are configured, what the status is, without having to go find them in different areas of the product. And this is really a theme for us that started last year, which we started bringing more and more usability front and center for you within the product. We also solved for a very long-standing enhancement request, specifically to integrate the estimated payments with the tax calendar so that payment amounts would just magically flow to your tax calendar events instead of having to key them in manually. And I'm happy to announce that we did, did that earlier this year. And another thing you're going to see that's already underway is fewer and fewer client downloads. So everyone who used the, uses the product, I'm sure you're quite familiar with these. Well, as we move to a thinner, leaner, web-only version of one source income tax, you're going to see those client downloads get fewer and fewer until they just disappear, and that work's already underway, and you'll see that this year. Now let's move on to trust tax, where we've also got some major things happening. So the next generation of trust tax for the web is here. We've spent the last couple years modernizing the technology and bringing a new web interface to you so that you can easily customize your views, filter on the fly, sort, do all kinds of great things, export data more holistically than you've been able to before, all using the new web interface. So this fall really ushers in a new era of trust tax for the web uh, that's pretty exciting for us. So all of you that'll be attending Rob Bayhash and Steve Mack sessions, I think you're gonna find some pretty exciting stuff there. Now let's leave the comfy shores of the United States for a bit and talk about what we're doing globally. So first of all, as Joe mentioned, with all the regulation coming down the pike, there's more and more need to comply with this stuff around the world. And when we look outside the US, our corporate tax solutions are the ones that you guys use to actually prepare your returns, review them, and file them with the tax authorities. And in this area, in 2015, we've got over 11 countries now covered, with another five coming in 2016. And it's not enough just to provide corporate tax return software in these countries. We're also integrating it with tax provision, which we did this year, so that you can do a global return to provision. We've also added the statutory due date content to tax calendar so that you have all of the due dates right there with your solution. And we've also integrated it with workflow so that you can complete tasks from within the corporate tax product without even breaking stride by checking them off right within the product. So it's really exciting times for us on the corporate tax front as we expand rapidly around the globe. Now, an area that some people in the room may be a little bit less familiar with is our statutory reporting product. So this is a legal entity-based filing requirement in most non-US jurisdictions. And it actually has to be filed at the same time as the corporate tax return, both of them filed electronically. So if we use the UK as an example, if your statutory reporting filing doesn't agree with your corporate return, you have to reconcile them for the tax authority. That's no fun. But I think something that perhaps is a little more interesting to think about for the people in the room, if you don't directly deal with it, is if you are at all involved in the preparation of 5471s or 8865s you know, here in the US, for example, chances are that the data and the commentary and documentation around that data in statutory reporting 
is exactly the kind of stuff you're looking for, that you are recollecting in tax packages, that you are recollecting in other ways. So I think that's something over time you're going to want to pay attention to as you find new ways to streamline the way your tax department works. Let's shift gears to supply chain management. So as Joe mentioned earlier, the supply chain heavily influences the indirect taxes that your company has to account for, right? So let's start with indirect tax determination. Our indirect tax determination engine integrates with ERP systems and other business systems to do real-time transaction tax determination and calculation. And it does this across over 15,000 jurisdictions here in the United States and another 175 globally. So if you or a friend happens to be, for instance, trying to configure your ERP system and chasing down all these regime changes and tax rate changes and you know, paying millions of dollars to have those plugged into ERP systems, you might actually want to give us a call because we maintain all that content for you automatically. Now, another area with indirect tax determination is our integrations with these ERP systems. And historically, we've focused primarily on SAP and Oracle as kind of you know, the big integration points. But we've changed that a bit in 2015, and we started integrating with lots of other business systems, including Microsoft Dynamics and NetSuite. As a matter of fact, as Joe mentioned, NetSuite is a, a partner of ours, a new partner. We're quite excited about that, and they are one of the sponsors of the event. And you can, if you're evaluating NetSuite or you guys have NetSuite, um, you can go talk to them at the Vendor Expo and see what they're up to. But that's quite exciting for us. And another thing we've done is cracked open access to our APIs or application programming interfaces so that developers outside the walls of Thomson Reuters can start building these integrations to whatever business systems they want to connect them to. Anything you want to compute real-time transaction taxes as part of your business system is now going to open up to the world to be able to develop against. And this is a predictor of things to come from us. Over the next couple years and the next couple synergies, I think you're going to start to see more and more of our APIs open up for partners and technology teams to work with. Now, the counterpart to the indirect tax determination, of course, is the compliance piece. And this covers both the VAT tax outside the United States as well as sales and use tax right here in the US. We, of course, provide all the mechanisms to bring together all your data from your different business systems or from our own indirect determination engine. And to bring that into one place, allow you to audit it, review it, and prepare your returns all with the local country validations running against it so that you know your data is clean and that your returns are accurate. In the case of the uh, indirect tax compliance, we've added three new countries this year, China, Venezuela, and Malta, if there's any big Malta fans out there in the room. Um, we've got over 51 countries covered at this point with our indirect tax compliance solution. And then there's global trade. So if you think about the sort of the, the pillars of global trade and the solutions we've got, you know we have indirect tax solutions, right? We just talked about those. Most of you know we have transfer pricing solutions. But there's one third leg to that stool, and that's the customs and duties required when you've got goods shipping from port to port, country to country, and location to location. And our global trade management solution is basically designed to do your calculations and your documentation around all of that activity. It started originally in Latin America, and we expanded it and localized it this year into 10 new countries, including the United States, Japan, Korea, India. So that's really starting to expand around the globe as well, as you can see, with pretty aggressive uh, aspirations for global domination. Now, as it relates to research, we released in 2014 Checkpoint Catalyst, 2015 being the first full year that Catalyst was out there in the market. We got amazing feedback and amazing response to the release. It's really been great. Now, as a result, we've added 30 new topics and 35 major revisions to Catalyst content, covering things like reorganizations, capital gains and losses, sales and use tax, New York franch corporate franchise tax, so it's pretty exciting. Joe mentioned what we've done around the BEPS uh, area, so I won't cover that. But again, some pretty exciting things as you navigate the stormy seas of BEPS as well. And I'm happy to announce that as of today, we have a brand new support system that we've launched to make your support experience better than it's ever been. 
We've improved our knowledge base. We've got richer content, including how-to videos, trending topics, and we now have just about every channel imaginable for you to interact with us. So if you want to go find answers on your own, we've got great self-service capability. If you want to chat with us, you can chat. If you want to email, you can email. If you want to call us on the phone, you can do that. It's really quite amazing, and outside the doors here, you'll find a services and support booth that you can stop by to see what we're doing on the support side. So if we take it all in summary, what have we done in 2015? Well, we've focused on usability with one source income tax. We've brought the next generation of trust tax for the web to market. We've taken our global solutions, everything from corporate direct tax to indirect tax determination and compliance and global trade and expanded them around the globe. We've improved on an already amazing Checkpoint Catalyst solution, and we've upgraded your entire support experience. So over the next couple days, I would encourage you as you go through your sessions to dig a little bit deeper into the areas that you're most interested in. But the best has yet to come. <laughs>